Hi, this video is about checking if the ISO we've put online is the same as the ISO we have locally. So the idea of these checks is that you see that and check that what you have and what we have is exactly the same. No tampering, no changes. At this point in time, it's this date here, every ISO is still in the Articlex auditing group. So if you don't want to be a beta tester, but want to test, um, then you can do so in the first week of the, every month. And in a week, these ISOs will move to here. And here you'll find the old ones, the ISO from January, and soon the ISOs from February will go there. We have changed our checklist, and that's what this video is about. We have more files. Well, there is the package list file where you can see what's on the ISO. That's interesting for people to know. Okay, or compare with Melt what was the package list last uh, uh, month or two months or three months and what is it today. There are also, also some checks. So to see if the ISO is not corrupt, we have an MD5, SHA1 and SHA256. And we sign this guy here to make sure that everything is, is in order. Now, how do we proceed? I've downloaded these guys. Some of them, you just click on them. The other ones, you need to just right mouse click and save the link as, and then you get this result. Okay, what do you do then? Then you open a terminal, open a terminal right in that folder. You need to have the ISO, well, available. Otherwise you can't check it, right? You do want to check the ISO there. Um, next up, let's go um, from MD5 till this last one. What you need to know is MD5 sum is actually a command and you want to check something. So minus C, you want to check what you want to check. A file with MD5, right? The extension MD5. So use the command and use the correct file. Enter. What it will say to you if it's okay or not. So it's gonna go and assume that this file is actually referring to the ISO up here. And it says, okay, everything is okay. And the same goes for the other guys. So sh sum minus c dot linux sha1. And you press and you wait. And it says, okay, sh256 sum minus check dot linux sh256 then. Make sure it corresponds this one with this one with the extension. And last but not least, we have the signature. So my personal signature signs everything, the packages, the ISOs and all that. How do we proceed? How do we check that? We have a nice little alias for that, GPG check. Check the signature of that particular file. Is that correct? SH256 and then dot signature. And it's going to go to the internet and that all depends on your software, your firewall, software, hardware firewall, ports that are open or not open, key servers that are available or not available. But in the end, it should say something like this. This is the most important line, then it's correct. Good signature from Eric Dubois at gmail.com. All the rest is unimportant. This warning is not important. The thing is, it's a good signature. It has been signed by me. That's the idea. That's your last check and then everything is in order, then it's up to you to install it. All right, cheers.